Hi, I'm Sharon Howard, physical therapist with TheHealthyRunner.com and Transformation Physical Therapy. And today we're going to talk about some tips and some exercises to help decrease shoulder pain and improve shoulder function. So the first thing we're going to talk about is what to do when you have pain but you want to still exercise. What are some things you can do, some positions you can avoid? What is it still safe that you can exercise? It's a question I get a lot from people. Uh, they want to know when they can get back to their exercise routine safely, and they're nervous about getting that shoulder pain flared up again because it is not fun. So I always talk to them about position. Anytime that your shoulder is above your head, your thumb should not be down, okay? Your thumb should not be neutral. It should be open this way. So pointing towards back. So you think of thumbs up is good, okay? When your shoulder is open like this, the tendons are not being compressed. So you, you want to be thumbs up overhead. So that goes with exercises like military press. I tell people to avoid something like a military press where your thumbs are inward like that. And instead of giving it up altogether, if, as long as they're not too symptomatic, they can do it with their palms together facing each other, where it's more of an open position for the shoulder. That little tweak can make a big difference. And if you're symptomatic and you try the two positions, you will find that this is more comfortable if it is impingement in your shoulder. The next one is lateral raises. So a lot of exercises want programs want to work that posterior deltoid so they have them cranking those pinkies up towards the ceiling. And that position is really, really hard on the shoulder. So instead of doing it that direction, you can put the thumb towards the ceiling instead and bringing it out this way. You can also, if you're wanting to work that posterior delt, just keep the range of motion much less and just keep it a very slight range of motion or just hold it low, which is gonna kick that posterior delt in without causing the shoulder impingement as much. And the next one that is super commonly asked about is bench press, because that is one that usually aggravates people who have shoulder pain. So with bench press, a proper way to do bench press without causing pain is to keep the shoulders at the level of the chest. So instead of coming into a deep press down here, you just keep it at that 90 degrees, keep it parallel, perpendicular to your body, and you're gonna press up, okay? And you can also, if this position is too much, then you can bring the palms towards each other and do a bit of a, a fly, but with the elbows bending. And that will work a similar, although it's slightly different muscles. So you can play with that and see, but always keeping that shoulder at chest level or above is going to allow that shoulder to stay healthy. Another one is with pull-ups. People do pull-ups they often want to you know, do a close grip, which is gonna be really, really pinching and those thumbs together. Again, a pinching position when you're overhead. So you can, if you're symptomatic, pull-ups are okay to do if you're not having pain, but if you are having shoulder pain, try doing chin-ups instead. So instead of avoiding the exercise altogether, you might find that tweaking it and turning your palms backwards so the thumbs are open will allow you to have that similar exercise without pain. You can also, with push-ups, another very common exercise. So with push-ups, a lot of people want to go all the way down. And when you're down in that position, it's really taxing on the shoulder. So instead of going all the way down, despite what some programs will tell you to do, you can go just to chest level and then back up from there. If you feel like it's too easy, you can always hold it at the bottom rather than going deeper because deeper is not always better. That last little bit of range of motion might be enough to set your shoulder off. So if you are not, if you are having shoulder pain, definitely avoid deep push-ups. Okay, so now we're gonna go over a few exercises to help decrease pain. The first one I'm going to show you is on the ball. I'll show it to you on the ball and on the foam roller. So you're going to, we'll start off just showing this with body weight. So if you're not having 
any pain and you're just doing it as a more of a preventative exercise, start with some three or five pound weights and see how that feels. If you're having pain, don't do it with any weight at all. It might be a little bit too stressful on the shoulder. The main goal of this exercise is range of motion. So on a ball, you're going to put your shoulder blades on the ball, resting your head, so you don't want to be holding your, your muscles, you want your head resting, and you're just going to open up right here. And just let that stretch. You should feel a stretch here, and if you don't, you can add a slight weight to get more of that resistance there through that pec muscle, that stretch. The next part is swimmer, so you're just doing thumbs overhead, pointing behind you, and alternating hands. And the next one is XY, so you're going to touch thumbs to pockets, and then thumbs out in a Y. Thumbs to pockets, thumbs out in a Y, and you can alternate hands to have a different one on top each time. And then the last one is straight arm hunches. So you don't want your shoulders up here when you're doing this. You're going to keep those shoulders down low. And straight arm hunches. All right. So that same exercise can be done on the foam roller. So with the foam roller, you're just going to put your hips on one side and then rest your head up at the top, and same thing. Open the chest, just rest here, trying one to two minutes for each part. Swimmers. Then you're gonna go thumbs to pockets, thumbs to Y, thumbs to pockets, thumbs to Y. Remember, always keep that shoulder, that thumb behind you, pointing behind you when you're overhead. And then straight arm press-ups with those shoulders down away from your ears. Okay. So now some strengthening exercises that you can do. The first one I'm going to show you is called YTWAs. And you can do this on your hands and knees or over the ball. I'll show you both of them here. So if you're on your hands and knees, you're going to press away from the floor and you're going to just go Y with your thumb up, T with your thumb up, W squeezing that shoulder blade back, and A. So again, Y with your thumb up, T with your thumb up, W squeezing that shoulder blade back, and A. On the other side, Y, T, W, A. The goal is to keep that shoulder away from your ear as you're doing this exercise. All right, so you can also do this on the ball. This way you can do it both at the same time. You want to make sure you have good stability when you're on the ball. So you can go Y, T, W, A. And if you're doing it on the ball, you want your nose pointed towards the floor. And the ball is going to be just at the bottom of your rib cage and in your, in your stomach. Alright, so I usually recommend that people start with 5 to 10 of those and then try to work up to 3 sets of 10 to strengthen their shoulder blade muscles and help keep those shoulders down and back. So another positional thing that can be really helpful is remembering to keep your shoulders down and away from your ears throughout all exercises. That includes something simple like bicep curls or tricep extensions, anything like that. You want to keep those shoulders down and away from your ears as much as possible so that your upper trap muscle, this one right here, is not being highly recruited Keep causing a lot of tension, which can pull on the neck, it can pull on the shoulder in odd ways. It can cause a lot of problems. So keeping those shoulders down and away from the ears while you're doing an exercise. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little exercise that I like to do for uh, just help mobilize that upper spine so that it helps 
mobility in the spine as well as it can help improve shoulder pain actually. So you're going to take a long sock, something that uh, like this little guy who doesn't have a match anymore, and you can just put a couple of tennis balls in there. All right, and then you're going to lay that down on the ground and you're going to lay on top of it. So I like to start about mid-rib level. So here's my ribs, the bottom, and then it's about midway. Then I just bring your arms down. And on the lower ones, you can lift and lower your hips. And then you're going to scoot down a little bit. And I like to just see which one mobilizes more, lifting and lowering my head, or I can add the hips and see which one feels better. Lift and lower. And you're gonna go all the way up to your shoulder blades and you'll get to a point where you'll start to really feel some muscles in there. Those shoulder blade muscles, you might feel some popping going on. And it's all right to feel those. If you're feeling sharp pain in your ribs or anything in the front, then you're not in the right position. You need to have one tennis ball on either side of the spine. And if that one is a little too intense for you, because sometimes those pinpoint can be a little bit tough, you can also do a similar exercise with a foam roller. So you're just going to put it on, line it up with your rib cage along your spine. You're going to put your hands on your head and you're going to reach. And then you're going to roll and reach. So you're going segmentally through that middle and upper back. You want to keep this on your ribs, not down in the low back where it doesn't have the stability. All right, so improved thoracic and upper and lower cervical mobility can help decrease shoulder pain as well as rib pain or thoracic pain. So I suggest if you're having any of these that you give this exercise a try.